Hello Cancer. Welcome to your week ahead reading. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. This is Halloween week when this is recorded. But technically this could be, this will resonate whenever it resonates. This could, um, this is good for the next seven days from whenever you watch this video. Okay. Let's see. First card out for your overview. We have Rebirth. And I like to draw two from this deck, typically. Rebirth is, a, it's judgment card. Okay. That is something being resurrected. Maybe that's you rising up out of the ashes like the phoenix. Okay. Um, and we have beginning. Oh my god. I mean, do I even need to continue your reading? This week is bringing about a new beginning, a rebirth. Something, it's, it's a new beginning after a death, after something being over. A judgment call to end something and start again. This, this is, I feel more like your energy being rejuvenated for some of you. This is an old situation getting new life. Okay. Let's see where we're going with this. Okay. Show me the Cancer energy. Show me the Cancerian energy, please. For the next seven days. Show me the next seven days for Cancer. Next seven days for cancer. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Oh, something's jump start some jump starting here. Uh huh, libido. Something's being jump-started here. The King of Wands takes action. There might be, you might feel like somebody's taking you out of the fire. That somebody is coming to your rescue. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this is somebody that is very strong. This could even be your personality as well. If you, you could have strong fire in your chart. This is a passion ignited and in full force. Okay. This is the Kings are maturity. This is your passion. It's like you are on fire, honey. Ten of cups. Wow. That's emotional bliss there. Three of cups. Okay, central card is connecting with somebody. Could be connection, reconnecting. A sense of celebrating. Full energy. Taking that leap of faith, honey. Taking that leap of faith. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Gemini had both the Fool and the Knight of Pentacles as well. Um, cancer showed up in their reading. You may want to check that out. Underlining, we do have the hangman. You know, there was a time something was suspended for a period of time. Okay, somebody may have sacrificed their fire and did not have the ambition to move forward, but somebody's finding that ambition. There is new life being given to a situation. For some others, this is, I ended something. I'm ready to begin again. I am on fire here. I'm ambition. Vicious, I am determined. There is a sense of determination here. Okay, so right dead center, we have that three of cups. That is that connection, reconnecting, or a new connection to someone. That is very fiery, very, very outgoing, outgoing personality. That makes you feel good. There's that half full blissfulness. There is a lot of emotions wrapped up, a lot of heart space and fire a lot of water and fire here okay it is grounded at the very end 
there is that sense that you recognize that this is a risk, but it is grounded. And the end of the day, end of the week, it's like, okay, let's take this slow. Baby steps here. It's all, I almost get the energy, especially with the hangman here. And we also have the high priestess. I do not know where this is going. I'm not sure what the future holds. I don't like not knowing. I know I need to trust my intuition. But I'm going to hang out a bit. I'm going to suspend it a bit. I want to slow it down a bit. Because I don't want another tower. Okay? And that's what... And that, that is an underlying fear, is a tower. You know, I invest in this, I build myself up in this just to have it crash. That is a little bit of a mentality that's working under the surface. So that is why you're choosing to kind of slow things down and suspend. It feels like it is an inferno in the beginning. Okay? This is, there's, this is like past, present, future. This is kind of like where things come or coming from you may like this could be beginning of the week towards the end of the week or there's this might be a little bit of history here as you <clears throat> that your energy that you're bringing into this coming week it could go either either way okay but there's some definite passion here there is definitely potential the central card is that three of cups, which is connecting with somebody on an emotional level. And you already are telling yourself, this is risky business. I got to be safe. Okay, tell me about this uh, king of wands. Please clarify the king of wands. Why is the king of wands here? Okay, we have the two of wands. This is making a decision to cultivate. This is kind of like at that crossroads and making plans and trying to see the future. So there is this energy here. Okay. I'm here now. And I feel this is your energy. Because picking up that suspended energy, it's like I'm at the crossroads. Do we take this connection of three of cups and try to get to the ten? It's risky business to try to get to that ten. Okay. Show me the ten of cups. Okay, all these twos, decisions, 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 two of pentacles, the juggling act, the balancing in the real world 3D. You, Cancer, are going back and forth about this. Do I do this or do I don't? Or not? Do I not? Okay, switch it, reverse it where it applies. Some cancers are sitting there saying, no, I know what I want. They're the ones that's going back and forth. Okay, switch it, reverse it as it applies. But I'm feeling energy of cancer saying, uh, weighing them out. I don't know really where this is going. This is risky business. Do I invest? Twos, twos. The decision. The fire's there. The emotions are there. What do I do with them? Two of pentacles. What do I do with this energy? I don't know suspend it for right now till I figure it out you know I there's slow progress forward you're moving forward but you are dragging your feet honey okay show me the three of cups okay we have the eight of wands there is communication incoming communication this is action eight of wands is actions things coming in things going out movement and it is fast. So this is what I'm getting. As I thought. This came on hot and heavy. Extremely fast. You know that tower I saw in there. Might have been like the, the that mind blowing. What the fuck just happened. Okay. It's like where did this person come from. Energy. And to the point where. Okay I'm feeling this passion. How, how can this person be pulling on my heartstrings. So fast, so hard. It's almost like that love at first sight. For those that are reconnecting, it's like, whew, the emotions all come back, and it's like, oh, I don't know. But for most, I don't 
feel, I feel like, you know, I, some, somebody ended a situation and all of a sudden a new one just whoosh, wishes right in, sweeps right in. And you're like, wait a second, I haven't had a chance to take my, to take a breath yet. And we have this person coming in. What do I do with this energy? For others of you, you're reconnecting to somebody and something to get a new life. And you're like, I've been down this road. I don't, mm, and you're a little bit doubtful. I definitely get that. What do I do with this energy? I'm at this crossroads. Do we, do I try again with this person or do I not? Okay, moving on. Full card, please. Clarify the full. Queen of Swords. Psst. Why am I not surprised? You're analyzing. Okay, the Queen of Swords is trying to find that clarity. The Queen of Swords is like, I can't make a decision unless I know all the facts. I cannot move forward with this unless I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm not going to fall on my face, that, I'm not, that this is not going to be another failure. Okay? The Queen of Swords is a little bit detached. So, you're feeling the emotions, you're feeling the heat, but you are emotionally detaching because of uncertainty. I don't know what to do with this. Okay, hanged man. I've got to suspend this energy until I figure shit out. I do not like a mystery. Okay, I want to know. Okay. You know, I need to know what I am getting myself into. Then we have the Empress, which also showed up in Gemini's reading with the Knight of Pentacles. Productive, slow production. Okay. Nurturing, loving energy. It's there. It's developing it is the Empress gives birth. Now, as I sometimes say, with that Empress energy, and we've got the King of Swords under here also. You both may be analyzing the situation, okay? But that Empress is very productive, very loving, very nurturing. But when you give birth to something new, when a mother gives birth to a child, there is pain involved. There's no denying that. But I'm looking at a cancer here that has something new developing this week. And it's taking you by storm. Mind-blowing connection that you're, at the end of the day, you're taking a step back and thinking about it and say, whoa, this is happening too fast. This is happening too fast. I don't know if I can do this. What do I do with this energy? It's a slow growth here. Very fast moving, swift moving. Boom. And then you kind of like put it on pause. You hit the pause button. You don't hit the delete. You don't hit the kill button. You hit the pause button. Well, time out. Let me think about this here. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, you know, very analytical, very... I need to think about this before I make a decision. Hangman is that enlightenment stage. You know, meditation. Very strong meditation there, especially with that um, high priestess energy. I need to connect to my spiritual self. I need to connect to a higher power for guidance on this. You know, I definitely get this, over, the, this fear here of failure. The tower card, that is that surprise, but it's also, not only did this take you by surprise, but this is also part of your fear, the fear of failing, a fear of it blowing up on you, in your face, and that's what holds you back. I need to figure this out because I, I got to make sure it doesn't fail. I don't want to face failure again. So you're going to be going back and forth. So this week, there's nothing def definitive on what direction you're going to go. 
but I feel like you're on the right path. I think by the end of the day, though, you are going to slowly let things develop, but you are taking your own sweet time. You, you're, you're, you're checking into your intuition. You're checking into your higher self or a higher power before you make a definite move. Okay? But that's what I have for you. Love you all, and I will see you next time.